The only reason it's out here is because it looks like the top was broken. Figure something out. We'll learn to cut glass. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> okay, let's load them up. Let's see if we can get a clean break or if this is going to shatter in a million pieces. Welcome back to our channel, or if you are new here, I am Lindsay, and this is my husband Tyler, and we are full-time furniture flippers. This week we found one of our coolest finds to date. We found two matching wicker side tables that are like a bohemian lover's dream. They're vintage, in great condition. However, the only bad thing was they were missing their glass tabletops. We are going to show you how we came up with a solution to make an easy and affordable DIY replacement top. We kept it affordable as always because our goal is to make a profit selling these. So we want to maximize that, keep the materials cheap. So enough talking, let's go ahead and roll the clip of how we found these pieces. Alright, we got something. <laughs> A lot of nothing, maybe. <gasps> Wait, there's wicker. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. Oh, <gasps> little tables. We gotta get out. Hold on. Let's see. How do they look? Looks good so far. What's on top? Oh, oh no, there's no glass. I think <laughs> that might have been, been the glass. Dang, it's in good shape though. Ew, you're brave. I love it. Yeah. How's the other one look? Oh, no glass on that one either. Dang, that's in good shape too. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. the pieces back home honestly these are in amazing condition however as you saw we got them from the trash so our first step as always is going to be just to clean it down we're just going to use some hot water and some dawn dish soap so let's go ahead and give it a nice scrub So we have measured the tabletops and they are 18 by 26 inches and after looking online and going to Lowe's and Home Depot, unfortunately that is not a pre-cut table size for tempered glass that is available on the market anywhere that we could find. Uh, they don't even cut tempered glass at the hardware stores because that is a professional job where you need a laser cutter. So ideally you would get that, that's what they came with originally, but again they were shattered and on the ground. We decided to get an acrylic sheet, aka plexiglass. It's a very durable material, it's easy to work with, you can cut it at home, you don't need any special saws or anything, you can actually just use a utility knife, which I think is what we're going to do. We went this route because it would have been crazy to pay a professional to cut custom glass for us and our goal is to sell this piece and make as much money as possible so we went with the affordable route which is the acrylic sheet here so now we're going to be using a piece of scrap wood to draw our outline we're going to clamp the scrap wood down so it doesn't move and then we'll trace an outline and we'll go ahead and cut it out to size we have our straight line drawn on the plexiglass so now we're going to go ahead and take our utility knife we're going to score it a few times on the top then we're going to flip it over score it a few times on the bottom and then it should just break off in a clean straight line
We have our piece scored on both sides of the material. So we're gonna take our largest piece and lay it on something flat with the small piece that we're breaking off, hanging off the edge, which will give it a little more leverage. So now we are going to try and just snap off the small excess piece here and see if it works or not. All right, moment of truth. Be careful. Oh no. Okay, one done, like eight more to go. Not too bad. We got time on our side. When I stayed on home, I need you on my phone. You okay? Every time well, it worked. No blood. <laughs> nice. All right. First one is done. On to the second. We got everything here. The girl's hard at work over there. To stay alive. Time it's very crucial. It crucial part of the job. job now we finally get to take off the ugly glossy protective film this is it life's not infinite looks it's so much more like glass chance we get so why are we waiting? Why are we waiting? Will it click? Looking for the next new fix. Is this the new kind of sick? Why are we waiting? Why are we waiting? They say they have the answers. Okay, we have completed the pieces. All they really needed was a good cleanup and of course new tabletops. You definitely could have sold them as is on Facebook Marketplace. However, I think we're going to get a little bit more money for reselling them with actually having a top and the plexiglass honestly looks really good. Now I'm going to go ahead and get this listed on Facebook Marketplace. Number one, I'm going to take measurements of everything. Please be sure to include dimensions on all of your listings so people know if it's going to fit in their space or in their car. And next, you're going to take photos of literally everything, every single angle, any imperfections, and add it to the listing. I'm going to get this listed today, and hopefully we're able to sell it in time by the time this video comes out. So we will check back with you once this sells and give you an update on what we made on it. You got a sale? Sure did. Where's the money? <laughs> 150. Hopefully this video was able to show you how you can easily find pieces of furniture that were without tops and add a relatively affordable solution. So whereas some people might throw that in the trash, you can take their trash and turn it into some cash, some side hustle money, which is what we love to do on this channel. So if you like this video, it would mean the world to us if you liked and subscribed to our channel. This is the kind of content we'll be making each and every Monday where we go basically digging through the trash, find some sort of piece of furniture, bring it home, fix it up, and then either keep it in our own home or sell it for a profit. So stay tuned to see what we find in the trash next week.